Over the years on Alamo Jam, there's been a lot of rumors and creepypastas about certain people and users in the community made up by members of the community. One of the most popular creepypastas in the game, as well as one of the most popular requests for this video series, is the Lost Jammer. In this video, we are going to be taking a look behind who is the Lost Jammer, the rumors surrounding the Lost Jammer, and where are they nowadays if they are still around even. But without further ado, Let's just hop right into it. Now, first, we're going to be talking about who exactly is the Lost Jammer. So, if you actually looked up the username Lost Jammer, upon looking them up, you will be greeted with this black out wolf here with small black dotted eyes. And this generally gave off a pretty creepy aura, given that the outfit was not typically used by normal people around the game. And quite fitting for a user of the stature and the rumors behind it, which we will get into later in the video. Now, who exactly made the account? Lost Jammer is unfortunately unknown. However, it was rumored that this person, whoever was behind the Lost Jammer, was also going by a username like Decompose or Decompose1. However, those were never confirmed to actually be the original Lost Jammer and were most likely fakes and can be passed off by fakes. However, I said the identity behind Lost Jammer was never unraveled, unfortunately, so there's really nothing to work on for this part of the video. Now we're going to be talking about the rumors and creepypastas surrounding the Lost Jammer around the game. These obviously take form a lot like other rumors and creepypastas like other users of the stature Lost Jammer usually do, with him just being portrayed as a hacker that hacks somebody and then they were never seen again type of thing. Now I can say without a doubt here, these rumors are exactly rumors, they are not real, and the story behind the Lost Jammer that you see around the game or YouTube or summonings of the Lost Jammer on YouTube are fake. This Lost Jammer identity most likely was never used outside of the account's creation. So anybody you see going around saying they got hacked by the Lost Jammer or they met the Lost Jammer, they are lying and any kind of myths about this is also untrue. Now, less of all here, what happened to Lost Jammer? Now, you can't actually look up Lost Jammer now. Whenever you do search them, it will greet you with this Jammer couldn't be found, presuming that this account was banned. And that's what a lot of people think, and that really just fuels the rumors and creepypastas behind this kind of Lost Jammer being a hacker type of thing. But I can say without a doubt that is untrue. Now, the user Lost Jammer was actually a person, and it was created. However, what happened to their account was kind of interesting. Now, a video uploaded to the official Alamo Jam YouTube channel in September of 2016, I believe, called Parade of Dens, Uncovering Lost Jammer, I believe. AJHQ actually claims the username from the original Lost Jammer account to use for this video. And this was supposed to be kind of a Halloween special, given the kind of theme of the video, and just kind of trying to give off creepy and scary vibes as, you know, normal Halloween fashion kind of goes. And that's pretty much it. This this username was reclaimed by AJHQ. Now, the original account was presumably just username changed or completely deleted due to being inactive. That's really unknown. But who exactly was behind the original Lost Jammer account is still unknown, and what really makes this the unsolved mystery of the Lost Jammer on Elm Jam Classic.